Mr. Man from AWP, it is so great to FaceTime with you. Why are you calling me? Okay, so let me get this straight. The subcommittee of AWP rejected all the disabled people and their panels for Los Angeles. Why did you do that? Oh no! Of course, you didn't mean anything by it. The problem is, you could only accept... Oh, I have to get this. Hello. Yeah, I'm talking about the shit storm right now. You could just add a panel. Just add a panel. No, you can't do that. You're right. No, 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 no. It's a slippery slope. You cannot break the rules like that. I'm always telling my writers, just write something that we're all familiar with, we're comfortable with. Just stick to what we know. Kind of conform. That's the best way in. It is a democracy, so they can blog about it. They can tweet about it. Start at change.org petition. Oh, they did all of that? Well, then they need to boycott. Oh, they did that too? Uh, let's just be real for a second, Mr. Man. It's got to be from the outsider's perspective, like the best friend. If it's the disabled person, it's a little too close. But when I meet them, sometimes I wonder. I have a lot of disability in my books. Have they read my books? What do they think about it? Are they upset? And it gets kind of awkward. I think what you should do. Uh, I O U. Keep it short and sweet. I O U a panel. Or give them a swag bag with some bubbles in it. Turn your troubles into bubbles, you could say. What do you think? Take them to brunch. Take them to Bellwether, all of them. Just gather them up and say, hey, y'all, we're going out to brunch. Everybody loves an Eggs Benedict. I'm staying at that Pomo Hotel because all my writing is real Pomo right now. I'll also be on my computer or my phone constantly. Thank you.